Hi guys, so today we're going to be reading another Little People Big Dreams called Elton John. And this is probably one of the mo my favorite ones so far. So I'm going to read it to you. And let's get started then, shall we? There's like lots of glasses in, in this picture. So we'll find out. Elton John. This is the story of a little boy from the London suburbs who once sat at the piano and started playing a waltz this by ear. His name was Reggie. And from that day on, whenever his parents argued music became his refuge. He reseeded a school airship to study classics, classical music at the Royal Academy of Music by singing in the chor and playing with other musical musicians. He discovered what the music is all about bringing people together. Reggie started compromising his own melodies and singing rock and roll hits with a band. One day he saw an advert from a record company looking for new talent. He decided to go to the Ad Ition. Reggie didn't do very well that day. Still, he left the tryout with an envel envelope full of lyrics from a guy called Brenny that all needed a melody. Back home, when Reggie started reading, something magical happened. Reggie wasn't the best at writing lyrics and Brenny didn't know how to write melodies but by working together all they needed was 15 minutes to make the most beautiful songs. After two long years of compromising songs for others artists it was time for Reggie to record his first solo album but Reg in old Kessens wasn't the coolest name for an artist so he changed it to Elton John One morning, Elton and Brenny wrote a song at breakfast. It was called Your Song, and it launched Elton like a rocket man from his mother's modest house to Super Stadium. It was his first big hit. Jumping on stage dressed as Captain Fantastic, Elton became a celebrity loved.
by millions. He had thousands of special glasses and the most amazing wardrobe -y a drag queen would long for. But once he saw was over and the adoring crowds had left, Elton felt tear I Billy alone. He had all he could dream of and still nothing seemed to make him happy. Everything changed when he met Ryan, a little hero fighting in hospital. Ryan showed him that leaves too wonderful to waste. It complaining the day he, they said goodbye, Elton promised to another on an hour his friend's memory by being bringing being his best self. And he did. He started eating healthy, getting a good night's sleep, and looking after himself. And then came David, the hush band. He had always wanted. They built their own family and are the proud fathers of two children. Elton was keened by the Queen, just not just for being the most successful male solo artist of all time, but also for creating a fantastic foundation to flight AIDS, the disease that had taken Ryan and many other friends away. And after a long life decided, decided to music, Sir Elton still remembers little Reggie, the shy boy who looked for comfort city at his piano and ended up bringing joy and happiness to the world with his singing songs here's some pictures of Elton John some books here Okay, and that's the end of the story.